Hi everyone, welcome to Focal Academy. See this problem. Here one circuit given here and source current was given as 4 into u of t plus 2 into l of t amperes. Now asking that how to find current i of t here. So here one two resistors are there, one inductor is there. So whenever inductors capacitors are there, that means react elements are there, at the time we are going to solve the problem by using Laplace transforms. Very easily. So we can solve this problem by using Laplace transform. So first of all convert everything in terms of S domain. That is apply Laplace transform for IS of t. It gives 4 into Laplace transform for U of t is 1 by S plus 2 into del of t is 1. This is IS of S. So it's current in terms of S domain. Now here find impedance for this resistor. So let's consider this is R1 resistor and this is R2 resistor and this is inductor. So for the R1 resistor, R2 resistor, what is the impedances? So for resistance, the impedance is always equal to resistance only. That means, so here Z1 equal to 2 ohms and here Z2 equal to 1 ohm. Now what is the impedance of inductor? So for inductor, the impedance ZL equal to always SL. So it becomes ZL equal to inductor is given as 0 0.2 Henry. It is 0 0.2 S. So here ZL equal to 0 0.2 S. Now finally we got the circuit is completely in terms of frequency domain. Now how can we solve for getting I of S? So for this I of T, we are going to find I of S. So after finding I of S, we apply inverse lap transform for getting I of t. Now how can we find I of s here? When you observe carefully here in the circuit, the current was parallel with the resistor. So here we can easily apply source transformation. So that is means current to voltage conversion. So here current is whenever parallel with the resistor, then this part will be replaced with a one voltage source with resistance R. Means resistance is same, but voltage will become I into R. So by redrawing the circuit, it becomes, so in this part, I am going to replace voltage with resistor. Remaining part is same, there is no change. So here, one more position, one inductor. Here voltage becomes high into R. So this is current resistance is 2 ohms. Now product these two things. It becomes 2 into 4, 8. That is 8 by S yes, plus 2 to the 4. Next, it becomes 2 ohms. It is 1 ohm. It is 0 0.2 S. Yes. This is Z1 impedance. This is Z2 impedance. This is Z3 impedance. So, impedances are in series. Then overall impedance for circuit is sum of the all the impedances. That is, overall impedance for circuit ZT equal to Z1 plus Z2 plus Z3. Now we can easily find the current in circuit by applying Ohm's law. That is, V equal to IZ. So from this, current I will get V by Z. The Z means overall impedance. Now Z1 substitute here. So 2 plus 1, 3. So 3 plus 0 0.2 S. This is overall impedance. Now substitute impedance and source, voltage source in the equation. We get current. That is current I equal to here I means I of S. And V means V of S. So V of S is 8 by 3. Sorry, 8 by S plus 4 upon Z T is 3 plus 0 0.2 S. By simplifying this, we will get 20s plus 40 upon s into s plus 15. This is I of s. This I of s nothing but this I of t up inverse of I of s nothing but I of t. Now apply inverse Laplace transfer for this, we get I of t. How to apply inverse Laplace transfer for this? So when you observe carefully here, in the numerator, degree is 1, denominator, degree is equal to 
Now by applying post fractions, you can simplify it. So let's see here how to do that. 20s plus 40 upon s into s plus 15. It can be written as a by s plus b by s plus 15 because in the numerator we have two factors are there one is s and this s plus 15. Now take a same here it becomes a into cross multiply it s plus 15 plus b into s upon s into s plus 15 and LHS that is 20s plus 40 upon s into s plus 15. So s into s plus 15 cancel and it gives 20s plus 40 thus be equal to expand this that is as plus 15a plus bs. So s will be common it becomes a plus b into s plus 15a. Now compare LHS and RHS. S coefficient is here a plus b that is equivalent to 20 and constant is 15a equal to 40. So from this 15a equal to 40 means so from this you get a equal to 40 by 15. Now similarly a plus b equal to 20. A already got substitute this value in the equation that is 40 by 15 plus b equal to 20. So from this we get b equal to 52 by 3. So this is a value and this is b value. Now substitute these two values in the equation. It becomes a is so 5 is 5 3 is. So a is 8 by 3 into 1 by s plus b is 52 by 3 into 1 by s plus 15. It becomes 8 by 3 into 1 by s plus 52 by 3 into 1 by s plus 15. Now apply inverse Laplace transform for this. So 8 by 3 into inverse Laplace of 1 by s plus 52 by 3 into inverse Laplace of 1 by s plus 15. So we know that Laplace transform for u of t nothing but 1 by s. So inverse Laplace of 1 by s nothing but u of t. So here we get u of t that is 8 by 3 into u of t plus 52 by 3 inverse of Laplace inverse of 1 by s 15. So we know that Laplace of e power minus a t that is nothing but equal to 1 by s plus a. So a means here 15. So it becomes e power of minus 15 t u of t. So it becomes it shall nothing but 2.667 plus and this value is 17.33 e power minus 15 t u of t. So this is the current i of t. Units are amperes. So this is the required current for the given problem and this is the process of simplification. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, share. Thanks.